Hey guys and welcome. We just started into week number 3 of season 2 on Battlefield 2042 and this means we got some new weekly missions, new portal modes and some new cosmetic items in the store. But this week it also means we got a small update in the morning and that's also what I want to start with. The update brought exactly 5 bug fixes to the game, at least officially, and two of them were for Pike and her EMGX scanner. After the small nerf she got earlier this month where her scanner distance and duration was reduced, we now got a little follow up to this where the visual effects of the scanner were corrected. So it shows the right range now and also the location revealed message you receive as opponent is shown for a shorter time. The other three fixes that were made are that the Avances and AM40 no longer have a visible weapon shake after switching over from a secondary weapon, some instances were resolved where containers could glitch into the ship in Stranded, and an issue was fixed where the interact button would trigger repeatedly, which could cause you to enter a vehicle again shortly after exiting it. So not much, but a few fixes. The next big update is scheduled for late September or early October and will add the reworked version of Renewal and some more Vault weapons to the game. But now let's head over to the new weekly missions. In the first section you need to do 10 kills with assault rifles, travel 300 meters in the EBLC RAM and heal teammates or repair allied vehicles. For the kills with the assault rifles just choose the one you like and reduce the enemy strength a bit. The distance traveled in the EBLC RAM could be tricky if you don't have it unlocked yet, can't get access to one of the vehicles or can't get a passenger seat. In general, Conquest is a good mode for this mission since the chance to get a vehicle is much higher, but if you want to complete it faster or you are not successful on a normal server, just create yourself an own server and portal and drive around until the mission is completed. For me it already showed as completed when I chose the vehicle from the spawn screen. The heals are easiest done in Breakthrough with either Falk's Red Pistol or the Medic Crate, but you can also complete all of these missions in a round of Conquest when you focus on them. If you don't like to play Conquest, like me for example, use the tips I gave you before. In the second section you need to capture or neutralize 10 objectives, spawn 3 squadmates on your insertion beacon or spawn on a squadmates beacon and inflict 1000 damage with ground vehicles. The objectives captured are easiest done in conquest since there are more objectives available and the squadmates spawned on a beacon are pretty much done on the side, especially because it also counts when you spawn at your own beacon. So if you just place it then spawn on it yourself and do this 3 times the mission is completed as well. Just don't forget that when you spawn on your own beacon you need to place a new one since the old beacon gets destroyed. The damage inflicted with ground vehicles can be done with all kinds of vehicles no matter if it is a tank or a transport vehicle like the LATV and you can damage all kinds of enemies and structures. So damage to a helicopter or another vehicle counts as well as damage and kills to infantry. The only difficulty here can be to get a vehicle but especially the light ground vehicles should be available more often. Once you unlocked the third section, you need to do 5 kills or assists when destroying vehicles and 30 kills or revives in general. So for the first mission it only counts if you destroy a vehicle and kill the passengers. If you shoot someone out of an LATV for example it won't count, but when you destroy a vehicle and kill enemies around it with the explosion these kills count as well. And for the kills and revives in general, just do what you have to do on Battlefield, reduce the enemy team and keep yours alive. And for the bonus mission you need to earn 9 combat, wingman or logistics ribbons and for the combat ribbon you need to do kills or destroy vehicles, for the logistics ribbon you need to heal, repair and resupply and for the wingman ribbon you need to do assists and revives. So basically everything you will do during a match anyhow. 9 of them is not too much and you can earn up to 3 of each kind per match so this mission shouldn't be too hard to complete. In Portal we also got two new modes just like every week and this time it's Rush XL and Battlefield 3 Infantry Conquest. Rush XL is a 128 player rush mode with 2042 specialists and weapons but on a mix of old and new maps. And Battlefield 3 Infantry Conquest is a 64 player conquest mode with a reduced number of vehicles, only played on the two Battlefield 3 maps and only with the era soldiers and weapons. In All Out War there were also some changes made again and a Stranded Breakthrough 24-7 as well as Exodus Conquest have been removed. Instead Stranded Conquest 24-7 was added. And this is unfortunately also a point where the new UI system is limiting them in having several playlists live at the same time. Cause with the old system we often had 24-7 Conquest plus Exposure Conquest in All Out War while only Breakthrough 24-7 had to be removed. So they could more freely have 4 different modes available 
available, but now they can't have more than one exclusive playlist available at a time in either Breakthrough or Conquest. So we can't have a 24-7 Conquest and Exposure Conquest at the same time. I hope this was a clear explanation of what I mean, cause it really annoys me that the two modes I played the most in the last days were removed just because the UI doesn't have enough space for it. Anyhow, it is what it is and we only have Stranded Conquest as a special playlist now. In the item store we got another new cosmetic bundle which is called Yatagara and finally includes a nice specialist skin for Falk, a weapon skin for the MP9, a vehicle skin for the Nightbird, a headgear for Dozer, another takedown animation, a player card background and a weapon skin for the PBX. We also got a new free item this week and it's a weapon charm again called an Arctic Patrol and can be claimed by all players within the next 7 days. And that's it for today. Just your usual overview of the weekly missions and everything else that was added to Battlefield 2042 today. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like or a comment below and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more content like this. Until then, thanks for watching. I'm the Catwoman and you are awesome.